Hello, welcome to this presentation about uh, the 3D submergence tutorial available under Plexus LE. My name is Marina Trevisoli and I will guide you through the steps of this specific tutorial. So uh, to get started, we'll use here the, the option of new model available under the Plexus LE manager. We'll save our project under a specific folder path. The module that we'll be using is the slope stability one and we'll initially start with the 2D system instead. You understand later that we'll actually start building the model in 2D and then just uh, switch to 3D by extrusion. The unit is of this model is set as imperial and the slip direction is right to left. Let's name our module submergence. Okay. So here we are under the Plexus 2D uh, LE interface. Uh, the first step of this model creation is based on this specifying the analysis settings. So we can go, come here under model. We have the settings option. So under the settings, we can adjust the slip surface, so the search method, calculation method, and so on. For this example, we are considering right to left as we adjust initially when creating the model. The slip shape for this case is set as circular. And the search method, we can pick one of the options available for a circular, is set as grid and tangent. Next step is adjusting the calculation method. For this one, we are keeping the Glee Fredland here as the calculation method. Under the conversion settings, we are switching the number of slices along the sliding surface from 30 to 50 to consider a more refined scenario of slices. We'll click OK and this is the first step and it's done. The next one is entering the geometry of the model. So uh, the model geometry is defined as a set of regions in a series of layers. Uh, these regions can be imported from different uh, file formats or even from existing models, but we can also draw or import the coordinates of each of the regions if we want. In this case, we'll come here under Geometry, access the Regions dialog, and input the coordinates of each of the regions by copy and pasting from the tutorial. So we have as default Region 1 here. I will click on the properties of Region 1 and I'll be able to paste the coordinates by clicking on New Polygon. Here, I can just click on Paste because I already copied the coordinates. That's it. All fine. Click OK. OK. So we'll create a new region, which is Region 2. Again, we'll access the Properties. Click on New Polygon and paste the coordinates. All fine, click OK. The th third one will be Region R3, Properties, New Polygon, we'll paste the coordinates, OK, OK. The last coordinate, the last region, sorry, Region 4, Click on Properties, again, New Polygon, we'll paste the coordinates, OK. Click OK again, and we'll just close the Regions dialog, OK. And this is what you should expect after uh, importing the coordinates of each region. So we can see here that we have these uh, closed uh, polylines representing the regions for us.
and if we click on each of them here on canvas you see that changes the, the regions available and we have four for this case uh, the next step is applying the material properties so uh, we will have four materials that will be utilizing this model we can access the materials dialog here so materials manager and this is the part that we will add the strength properties related to each of the materials and also define the constitutive model uh, for each of them right so uh, we'll cl click here on new the first uh, material is R1, named R1, and we are going to use a more cool method, right? I'll keep this fill color here, I could choose another one, click OK, and we'll define here the cohesion based on our tutorial and the friction angle as well. And the unit weight will switch to 160. That's it. I won't make any further adjustment right now. Click OK. I will create the second material, which is the rock fill. Also more coulomb. The cohesion is set as 100. Friction angle 33. And the unit weight 135. OK. The next one is the core. Also more coulomb. All materials in this example are using more coulomb. And I will adjust here the cohesion, friction angle, and the unit weight. Okay. A new one, last one is the few. Okay. The cohesion. Friction angle 28 the lower one and the unit weight here 135 keep in mind that besides including the the material properties manually we could also import from other uh, slope stability uh, models so you could for example create a library for your mod for your projects and import from the for different models if you want okay that's it uh, the next step as you may imagine is applying the material properties to each of the regions. So how could we do this? For example, we could click here on region one, for example, right click using the mouse, apply material, and then R1. The next one would be region two, which refers to the fill. So we can apply fill. Region three is the core. Right click, apply, core. What are the other options in terms of applying materials? I could also come here under geometry, regions, and you see that region 4 is the only one with uh, a missing space for material. So I could just select here under the drop down menu and choose rock fill. Okay, so all materials are applied to the regions. I could also have, let's say, a void space uh, within a region, but it's not the case. All regions will have materials assigned. And as you can see, after applying the materials, we will have also this legend identifying the material properties and the strength type applied. The next step, and it's important for this model, is specifying the pore water pressures, right? Uh, in this case, uh, we are handling, of course, a steady state model. And uh, by convenience, the, the, the water pressure can be defined as a water table or generally a piezometric line. For this example, we use a water table because we want to create a submergence condition. And this, the water table provides this capability in the software. So uh, in this case, I can come here under pour water. You see that we have the settings. And here's where I will define how I would like to represent the pour water pressure method. I can choose one of the options that we have here, even discrete points, results from other uh, groundwater analysis if I want. But I'll just pick water table here in this case. 
and then I can decide if I want to proceed with water table or piezometric line. Uh, I will choose water table, right? And I will paste the coordinate points of the water table, as you can see. Uh, you can also notice that I'm applying the influence of, of water table to all the four regions of the model. Important to mention that in a model we can have one water table and several piezometric lines, or only piezometric lines as well, or only one water table. This is set uh, in accordance to how you like to represent the pore pressures in the model. Click OK, and you can see that the, the water table is now representing this, this pond area here uh, downstream the slope. Now we need to specify the search method geometry. So we are using grid and tangent, but we need to define the limits of the grid and tangent. So we can come here under the slips, grid and tangent, and we can define here for the grid option, we'll have the coordinates of the grid. So I will specify based on my tutorial. And the increments along the grid for x and y, you can see that we define here in our canvas. The next one is the tangent. So for the tangent, I will define here. I could also uh, copy and paste, but in this case, I will just type. So the limits we need, we have the upper and lower left side and the upper and lower right side. So we can come here. 500 and the radio increment I will keep a lower value as 1 so you only see here these two lines separating the, the upper and lower portion okay all set as we would expect to see in the CAD window. Uh, the next step now, uh, of course, we are handling a 3D model in theory, so we are not going to solve this one. We are actually going to uh, extrude this model to the 3D scenario. How could we do this? Well, we can come here on the file, save as, and we can switch the system from 2D to 3D. When we do this, we have to adjust this spatial dialog here. So as you can see, we'll have an additional coordinate, which refers to Y. So Y in 2D will be transferred to this location, and Y will actually be represented by the Z coordinates. In this case, what would be the extrusion range from 0 to 200 feet in this case? Okay, so I just need to press OK and the software will convert the whole model to 3D. As you can see, it's just a, an extrusion, so we don't have variation of the materials along the third dimension or even the geometry along the third dimension. And the model also transferred uh, the regions now to surfaces, as you can see. It's now a surface and the regions now refer to the limits of the the model extends. Uh, note that uh, now that the model is extruded in 3D, we need to do some updates. Okay, so we will come here under the model settings. I will select the advanced option, and we will uncheck the option exclude trial zip surface that have columns outside of the model domain. Okay. For this specific model, this is the condition. And we'll now adjust here a bit the grid and tangent. And as you see, we have some uh, additional uh, information here. In terms of the, the Y coordinate, 
So we'll change this value here. Uh, zero, zero, and one. So we changed here the, the Y coordinate, it extends in the Y direction. Click OK. And as you can see, the grid is positioned here on the 0, 0 of uh, Y coordinate. We transfer here to align to the axis. Uh, now we just need to run our model. We could click here on Analyze or come here under Dissolve and analyze the model. I need to save the model. Plexus LE will open up the slope stability solver for us. We can keep up with the evaluation in terms of uh, factor of safety referring to moment and forces due to the calculation method used. And we can see that the search process is finished. Runtime 3 seconds. And we can now click on visualize the results. So as we can see in this model, uh, after completing the, the analysis, we can view the results by pressing here uh, the results icon on the process toolbar or even click on this icon here to open the, the output. And the sliding mass is displayed in the CAD window for the selected calculation method. In this case, we are just using Glee. Uh, so the first view that we have is related to the materi materials uh, that are influenced in the critical uh, sliding mass, right? Uh, of course, in the limit equilibrium analysis, we have additional uh, trial uh, slip surfaces. What, what else could we see here? Of course, there are several options, but we can click under slips, critical slip surface, and I can uh, extrude the critical slip surface a bit. Click OK. So we can see uh, the shape of this critical slip surface. Uh, and of course, we can also see additional information, not only the materials uh, as variable along the sliding mass, but also, for example, if you would like to see normal forces along the slice is also possible.